Hillary Clinton slamming Donald Trump uh, here to debate it all. Uh, Katrina Campins, uh, Jonathan Max Ferris, and uh, Kathy Lynn Taylor. Katrina, Katrina, let me start with you. Uh, essentially, Hillary saying that Donald Trump's policies would hurl this nation into recession, and she uses a lot of GOP talking points to back that up. Well, Hillary Clinton is basically just an extension of the Obama administration, and Obama's economic recovery has been less than desirable. He hasn't even been able to meet his own expectations. And he's actually, his economic recovery is the weakest since any post recovery recession uh, since World War II. He's also slated at the current pace to be the first president in U.S. history to never preside over a full year of growth of at least 3%. But we shouldn't be surprised because he hasn't done anything to actually promote growth. Let's start with the health care. He actually said that he was going to reduce health care costs for the average American by $2,500 per year. Our health care premiums have gone up. Many people can't even afford health care. Many doctors are not taking Obamacare. And small business owners are not right. hiring more than 50 employees because you're not required to provide full health care. Another thing is the regulations that he's actually implemented. How is it that small business owners are going to grow when the federal government is getting in your way? They've actually implemented over $22 billion in new regulations, which has cost the American people over $100 billion. And lastly, I would say one of the biggest concerns is the taxes. You know, he's actually increased taxes on small business owners. The U.S. currently has the highest business tax rate, which is why many business owners are actually fleeing and leaving the United States. So while she's, you know, continuing to say that Donald Trump is not going to actually help the economy over the past eight years, we haven't seen the change sure. that, quote, unquote, and, and Obama has promised. So. And Jonas, you know, to yeah, that point, I, I think uh, Hillary took great pains to to almost uh, acknowledge uh, what Katrina was saying by saying, listen, uh, President Obama was dealt a bad hand, the worst recession, uh, yada, yada. We've heard this speech over and over again. Uh, but what the Donald Trump's prescriptions for, for healing the nation or, or revitalizing, jumpstarting this country, what, what are your thoughts on those, Jonas? Well, the, I've, there's a lot of concerns, and, and I think Hillary is sort of indirectly working off this Moody's report, which is basically saying that Trump's going to cause a recession. And, you know, you could have more recessions under a more of a free market with lower taxes, in theory, if we lower the size of government, which is not currently the plan. But you also get a bigger boom periods. I mean, the Hillary model, which actually is liked by debt raters, is more Nordic, where you have, you have a very high tax rate and pay for a lot of benefits. And it's more of a managed economy where you have lower lows and lower growth along the way and higher unemployment in some cases. So it could be a different type of economy. It may, it may be, you know, without government, you have, we used to have recessions and panics all the time 100 years ago. So it's possible, it's true, it is possible having too low a tax rate is going to have major problems with the debt rating, with, with defaults on the way to being a smaller uh, economy, I mean, a smaller government impact on the economy, so to say. Yeah, but you know, here's the thing though, Kathy, it's, it's, it, this is America, right? We don't, we're not prepared, I don't think, to become a Nordic country. Uh, you know, we're sort of used to that supersized growth. Uh, uh, dreams come true here. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps and literally the sky's the limit. Whatever you want in this, in this world, you can get it. And that's why people continue to come here from other countries. I guess the question is, when Hillary talks about she's got a formula for jump-starting this economy, creating the so-called virtuous cycle, what does she get wrong about Donald Trump's plans, particularly with low rates, getting rid of those onerous regulations that Katrina talked about as perhaps being the thing that sparks our economy? Right. I mean, Hillary Clinton loves to legislate her way out of things, and so that's a real problem for economic growth and for free markets and for our country. And what she failed to do in her speech, which did have some merits and was effective from some regards, was to distinguish herself from the problems that she so eloquently actually laid out about the past seven and a half years. Rising health care costs, mm -hmm. people working two jobs, more Americans on food stamps than ever, declining prosperity. I mean, she laid out the problems at the beginning of her comments herself, yet she failed to distinguish herself from those policies and what she's going to do about them. With regard to Donald Trump, look, one thing we know for sure in America is that when you lower taxes, 
right? And you decrease government spending to less than a fifth of GDP, you get economic expansion. We saw it throughout the 80s. We saw it into the 90s. This is a recipe for success. So a lower tax plan is a good thing, whether it comes from Trump or anybody else. Where he needs to continue looking at his plan is with regard to the global component. I know he wants to advocate for American businesses. That is great. But without markets other places, we have nowhere in this country to sell our products. And we have five million jobs going vacant right now because Americans have decided they're not good enough jobs. Right. And so we do need some immigrant labor. And so we have to understand that the global part of the economy is necessary for our own success and expansion. And that's what he's going to have to reconcile his plan and, and more.